Here is everything you need to know about the history and future of airbending. First, we have to start out with the origins of all bending, the lion turtles. Over 10,000 years ago, ancient airbenders built their society on the back of a giant flying lion turtle. And they didn't just live on its back, they got their airbending abilities from their lion turtle and use airbending to travel between their villages and the spirit wilds, which is how Juan, the first avatar, found out about them. People, and they have some kind of wind power. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> More humans, I found you. No. Yeah. Wait, I'm friendly. Now at this point, Juan was just an exiled firebender, but he instantly wanted to know more about airbending. I have got to get over there. And Juan found a civilization unlike anything he'd seen before. Airbenders were living in harmony with spirits. That is, until Vatu arrived. Be gone! Now that Vatu is free, he is turning other spirits dark. The more spirits he turns, the stronger he becomes. I'm sorry for endangering your village, but I promise to set things right. How? Juan knew he wasn't powerful enough to restore balance, yet. Rava, please. I can't let the world fall into chaos because of my mistake. Neither of us can defeat Vatu alone, but Together, we have a chance. You may be right. Very well. I will help you to master the power of air. Thank you. And in return, I will help you restore balance to the world. This moment turned Juan from just a firebender into something the world had never seen before. No human has ever held two elements at the same time. And it set him on the path to becoming the first Avatar. Rava, we need to combine our energies. Maybe then we'll have enough power to stop this. Enough! You need to stop fighting now before you destroy each other. He's controlling all four elements. Over the course of the next 10,000 years, airbending evolved as air nomads learned from the flying bison, built their four air temples, and explored their element's incredible power. Air is the element of freedom. The air nomads detached themselves from worldly concerns and found peace and freedom. The air nomads' peaceful philosophy definitely shaped how airbending developed. The monks always taught me that all life is sacred, even the life of the tiniest spider fly caught in its own web. And I've only had to use violence for necessary defense. And I've certainly never used it to take a life. Most airbenders learn defensive, evasive, and long-range moves, and the possibilities of airbending kept expanding. More and more airbenders became airbending masters by creating their own new moves, like the air scooter. First, you form the ball. Then you gotta get on quick. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Where'd you learn that trick, Aang? I made it up. They even adapted the markings of the flying bison into the arrow tattoos of airbending masters. He's a gigantic fluffy monster with an arrow on his head. It's kind of hard to miss him. Sokka's just jealous because he doesn't have an arrow. 6,000 years after the age of Wan, one airbending master even unlocked the secret of flight. Guru Lahima lived 4,000 years ago in the Northern Air Temple. It is said that he unlocked the secret of weightlessness and became untethered from the earth living his final 40 years without ever touching the ground. But the air nomads didn't take themselves too seriously. They apparently had pretty good senses of humor. Airbenders played air ball and sky bison polo, pulled off stunts with their gliders, and just generally laughed at gravity. I laugh at gravity all the time. <laughs> gravity. It wasn't all about the bending for the air nomads. Spirituality was a big deal in the air nomad culture. So much so that every single Air Nomad child was born an airbender. Wait, that's me, isn't it? But without that strong spiritual connection, airbending can lose its power. Avatar Kiyoshi's mother, Jessa, was an airbender, 
But once she left the Air Nomads and abandoned her spiritual connection, her airbending was much weaker. Kyoshi's mother had to use fans to make up for her weakened powers. That's where Avatar Kyoshi's fans come from. So the Air Nomads were living peaceful, spiritual lives. But, well, you know. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. After Avatar Roku's death, Fire Lord Sozin knew he had to destroy the new Avatar if his plans were going to succeed. I knew the next Avatar would be born an Air Nomad. Using the power of a once-in-a-century comic, the Fire Nation army attacked the powerful but pacifistic Air Nomads. The Air Nomads didn't have a formal military. Sozin defeated them by ambush. Sozin's forces killed almost every single airbender. All but the very person Sozin was trying to destroy. The Avatar, the last airbender. Over the next century of war, Sozin and his descendants would hunt for the last airbender. Your father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all tried and failed. Because their honor didn't hinge on the Avatar's capture. Mine does. But most of the world thought airbending was lost forever. Well, no one has seen an airbender in a hundred years. We thought they were extinct. Little did they know, one fateful sibling squabble would free the Avatar, end the Hundred Years' War, and restore hope for the future of airbending. Leave it to a girl to screw things up. You are the most sexist, immature, nut-brained... I'm embarrassed to be related to you! Aang showed the world what airbending could do as he prepared to face down Fire Lord Oza. Everyone, even my own past lives, are expecting me to end someone's life. But I don't know if I can do it. Fire Lord Oza, you and your forefathers have devastated the balance of this world. And now, you shall pay the ultimate price! No, I'm not gonna end it like this. By keeping the central tenet of Air Nomad culture alive, Aang made it possible for future generations to rebuild the Air Nomads and restore balance to the four nations. Aang and Katara's third child, Tenzin, was born an airbender. Aang showed Tenzin everything he could about his culture, and Tenzin became a powerful airbending master, just like his father. I am the son of Avatar Aang. I am the hope for future generations of airbenders. After Aang's death, Tenzin passed that knowledge on to his own airbender children and the next avatar. Airbending is all about spiral movements. When you meet resistance, you must be able to switch direction at a moment's notice. Let's do this. but the future of airbending was still very fragile. Tonight, I rid the world of airbending forever. Come on, let them go. During harmonic convergence, the planets align and the two spirit portals merge, unleashing a wave of spirit energy across the Earth. After the epic battle with Batu, Korra left the spirit portals open. But that wasn't the only big change in the world. Harmonic convergence has caused a shift in the planet's energy. I can feel it. We are entering a new age. The energy shift caused by harmonic convergence created a ton of new airbenders and jump-started major changes to a discipline that had been mostly the same for millennia. 
I just wish your grandfather were here to see this. Will you be Airbender President? No. But I think the new Airbenders will need lots of help and guidance to understand what it means to be a part of our nation. But some of the new Airbenders had no interest in adopting the Air Nomad culture. You're an Airbender now, and you have a responsibility as a citizen of the world. Whatever. I didn't ask to become an Airbender, you know. One new Airbender, Zaheer, did seem interested in traditional Airbending teachings and he even learned to fly by studying an ancient airbending master. Let go your earthly tether. Enter the void, empty, and become wind. But he also killed the Earth Queen and tried to end the Avatar cycle. When we dispatch you in the Avatar state, the cycle will end. Not exactly traditional airbending moves. The revolution has already begun. Chaos is the natural order of all! Whoa. You see what I did there? I put a sock in it, literally. Meanwhile, Janora was exploring her airbending powers and her connection to the spirit world. She discovered another advanced airbending technique, spiritual projection. Janora? It worked! How are you here right now? Shh, quiet. It's a high level airbender move with a little spiritual stuff thrown in. And she became the first airbending master of her generation. Now, let us anoint the master who will help lead us in our new path. After harmonic convergence, airbenders reclaim their nomadic lifestyle. We will serve people of all nations, working wherever there is corruption and discord, to restore balance and peace. With the leadership of Tenzin and Janora, they became a powerful peacekeeping force in this brave new world. Like their element, airbenders found a path around their obstacles over the centuries. They made sure airbending and the air nomad ways could survive and adapt in a changing world. I can see my path now. There are new airbenders out there and I'm gonna find them and rebuild the air nation. Don't think I'm not going with you. That's everything you need to know about the history of airbending. Which element should we explore next? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of Avatar.